Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Detective Harold Dickman. I have been asked by local law enforcement to address you today. As many of you are well aware, these are troubling times in this nation of ours. With all of the dangers facing our youth, perhaps the most disturbing, the most nefarious, is the current drug craze that is sweeping through our streets. I am, of course, referring to JX375, better known by its street name, The Devil's Lettuce. Many of you have seen our previous film, The Devil's Lettuce, available on Amazon Prime, which chronicles the hazards of smoking this foul substance. You are no doubt aware of its evil proponents and distributors, the hutch of truth. Even as we speak, they are pushing for the legalization of this wretched drug and are developing new, more powerful ways of using the devil's lettuce. Their motives are clear and nefarious. One, get the youth addicted and B, indoctrinate them into their cultish and un-American ways. But the newest craze is perhaps the most terrifying. They have found a way to infuse this terrible drug into the very foods that we eat. Cakes, cookies, brownies, crispy treats, all manner of sweet edibles that the youth enjoy are now made with the drugs literally baked right in. The scenes and incidents you are about to witness, while fictionalized for the purposes of this motion picture, are based on actual research and may frighten more sensitive viewers. May we assure you, ladies and gentlemen, such shocking imagery is absolutely necessary to adequately warn you of this ghastly menace, these treats of terror, these edible evils. <laughs> Hey there, handsome. Hey, babe. When did you get back into town? Last night. Sorry I didn't call. We didn't get back until late. It's okay. I know you had that family reunion thing. So anyway, that new movie, Five Wild Animals, is playing tonight at the drive-in. You want to go see it? Scotty, that is far too many wild animals for a school night. Okay. Oh, well, don't look so grumpy. We still got that big dance coming up, and I'm still your date. I'll do this for you. Scotty, it's beautiful, and it looks just like me. Like you've been wearing polka dots. Like I always wear polka dots. And for continuity purposes. Oh, well, speaking of continuity, we should probably continue on to school. It isn't my two favorite little lovebirds. So, what's this I hear about a big dance coming up? There's a dance, Steve. Yeah, aren't you going to it? Me? No, 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 no. It's a little too uh, square for me, but uh, you kids got fun. Hey, tell you what, you know what would make you have even more fun? If you took some of the devil's lettuce with you. You mean drugs? Really? Yeah. What? It's not like it's gonna kill you or anything. That's exactly what it's gonna do. No, 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 no. That's just a myth that some lame parents made up to keep you away from having fun. I can't really argue with that point. Maybe just once won't hurt. Scotty, I can't believe you! You're really gonna listen to this, this scumbag? I mean, he makes a pretty good point. We can try it, together, just once. Try it? 
Scotty, after what that stuff did to my brother, and now you're wanting to try it, and you want me to try it too? This is ridiculous. Hey, Kimberly, we'll just try it once. It could be fun. What's the problem? Why aren't you gonna stand by your man? What? Are you being a chicken? I am not a chicken. You guys are just, just turkeys. You guys have fun with your stupid devil's lettuce and your Kimberly. stupid little scum on friends. I'm out of here. We are yeah. through. Kimberly. Hey, 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 hey. Forget her, man. Forget her. Look. Don't worry about it. And the dance, who, who even cares about going to a dance? I anyway? care about the dance. I want to go to the dance. That's my girlfriend. She's mad at me. No, no. She was your girlfriend, okay? She just walked off, leaving you here high and dry. All right, but it's okay. It's okay. I got something that's going to help ease the pain and help you forget about little Miss Square who just left you here. And what's that? Some of the devil's lettuce, my man. I've got some of the best stuff in town. And when we're done, I'll take you to meet some of the coolest cats around. Okay, fine. Yeah? That, now we're talking. All right, now tell me, what does this look like to you? A cookie? Ah, but not just any cookie, all right? This was baked with the devil's lettuce mixed up. All right, you can take this anywhere, eat it anywhere. Any time, without anybody being the wiser, no parents, no teachers, and especially no cops. None of them will know what you're doing, and you're having the time of your life. How's it taste? You tell me. Tell me, dear boy, have you seen him? Have you seen Lord Rabbitus? Yeah, he's everywhere. <laughs> yes. He is our Lord and Master. He's the only one who can show us the way to the next level of existence. We must honor and obey him, lest he destroy us all. What about Jesus? Won't he be mad at me? Jesus, what is your faith ever truly given you, boy? You do want his gift again, do you not? Yeah, yeah. Rabbitus will give you unlimited supplies of the devil's letters, and you can feel this way forever! Yeah, yes, yeah, good, good. Now, eat of this magic brownie. Go forth and tell every young person you meet about our communist manifesto, and give them one of these sweet special treats. Then, when they come back to see you, and they will, you will bring them directly to me. For every one of these you sell, I'll give you one for free. You will bring us more converts. You will bring us more communists. You will bring us more customers. Obey us. Obey Rabbitus.
Herodotus. plan to completely destroy the American way of life by getting each and every single one of its citizens hooked hopelessly on our delicious devil's lettuce. Oh, the young ones smoking it, that was just the beginning. Soon each and every young red-blooded American will be gobbling up our tasty treats, and those that survive will become brainwashed adults who will turn on their old ways, abandon their churches, and bring forth the rise of communism! All hail Rabbitus! All hail Rabbitus! All hail Rabbitus! Yes, 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 yes. And soon, we will even convince them to make it legal. And then we can bring forth the one true God, Rabbitus! All hail Rabbitus! a patsy, someone foolish enough to take the fall and distract the police while we begin the second phase, the second phase of our plan. And I know just such a fool. much money they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> All right, my man. Oh, speaking of, uh, how much money were you uh, able to steal? You got enough for us to get some more lettuce later? Uh, more than enough for the next few days. <laughs> <that's for sure. laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to sell the stuff we got now. All right, and we're going to go to Boss, and he's going to get good stuff. The good stuff? Yeah. 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 We should have a big sale in the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, tell you what, I'm, I'm going to let you take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea, Steve. Yeah. Oh, I'll uh, I'll get you later. I made this for you. <sighs> oh, Scotty, you used to be so cool. Now you're like one of those guys that make sequels of short films. How's it going, sir? Would you like to try some of our baked goods today? Well, that depends. What kind of tasty treats do you have here, son? Oh, we have cookies and brownies. Well, are they made with the devil's lettuce by chance? Of course. Hmm. See for yourself. Hmm. You're in big trouble, son. I didn't do anything. You have the right to remain silent. They're just Anything cookies. you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. They're just cookies. 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 And remember, friends and neighbors, this young man once had a bright and promising future ahead of him, but now he will spend the rest of his days behind bars in a federal prison. But stay vigilant, good people. Scotty Benjamin may have been arrested, but there are still other drug dealers out there. And let's not forget the hutch of truth is out there as well, corrupting our youth, or worse, turning them into pinkos. Even now, the hutch of truth plots to destroy our American way of life. Their next victim might be your son, or your daughter, or yours, or yours, or yours.
devil lettuce.